handled in the middle by Noah Meta. Gets it over. Might be a shot opportunity. Here's Phillips on the near side. Plays it in the middle. And there's a goal right there for Duquesne. Frederick Bornstein. The goal scorer, as you said, is Frederick Bornstein, who will put the Dukes up 1-0 with just under 15 minutes remaining in the first half. Right there, Duquesne got their first real threat into the attacking third, and they took advantage of it. Yeah, it's funny how soccer works. You can you know, really not have the better play for a large sum of the game, and then it just takes one chance, and all of a sudden, you know, Duquesne, Duquesne Dukes are up. Yep, and you just saw the replay right there as Colin Phillips sent it in, and Bornstein was able to finish the cross. Uh, that's a great goal. It's a great ball in by Colin, a great finish by Frederick. Yeah. And nice job by Bornstein to hit it in. Out side. another scary chance right there. Look like Hellstrom again off the line. Oh wow! Wow! And there's a wow. bullet shot right there from the Flyers. There is the equalizer from about 30 yards out, 35 yards out. At least. Oh, that was that was a rocket. You see here. Oh, that's just unstoppable. Kozowski couldn't do anything about it. He's played a great game, and there's just nothing a keeper can do about that one. Phenomenal shot right there by the Flyers. It looked like that might have been James Hot, who Meta can run onto this one. He cannot. Dayton remains in possession. A nice long cross into the middle, and there oh. is the goal right there for the Flyers. A through ball played over the top, headed on into side net. It looks... Like that goal scorer might have been Carlos Sendin. Number 17 for the Flyers. Gets the head on it. Gets it past Kozlowski. And gives Dayton a very late one goal advantage. As you said, a goal right there will likely be the game winner.